What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reaping. Come back at you with another video. And today, if you watched my last video, you know that I have a par meter that I'm ready to measure all my levels. So the lights are starting to slowly ramp up. So I'm gonna measure my lights when they're at peak intensity. And we're gonna see where the par um, is on this tank. So this par meter is actually the Apogee SQ420X. Now, the great thing about this is it is very cheap. I don't know what I paid for it because my mother-in-law got it for me for Christmas, so I'm pretty blessed to have this. And I am super stoked to measure the lights in this tank. Now, for this uh, par meter, the only downside is that you don't have the stand, it's not a standalone unit. You have to plug it into a computer. But I mean, you save a ton of money. Why not buy this and run the cord 15 feet to my desk and put it into my computer? and it's gonna do the same thing. Just a little bit more of a hassle, but you're saving tons of money on it. I'll put like here how much it actually cost at the time of getting it. So you save a pretty decent amount of money for it. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is going to um, give you just as good readings as the, um, there's a, two different models to this PAR meter. Um, there's one that has the actual like reading in your hand, the computer part in the hand, and then this one. It still has the same sensor, same everything as the um, other model of it, but it's much cheaper. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach this to the end of an algae scraper and kinda just have it under the tank and see where it's gonna be at. Now, the one thing I wanna do is make sure to turn off all the flow. I don't want any like the surface ripples. Now with that being said, this water level is gonna go down probably like quarter of an inch, half an inch maybe. So it might affect the par reading a little bit when the water level drops just a bit because it's not, I mean, what's a quarter to half an inch going to do to the light? Probably reduce, or in, this will increase the par reading by like two, maybe three. Who knows? So let's get started. So for this tank, I have three XR15s and these are the blue version. Now I am just running the straight AB plus on it and they're at 60% intensity. So as far as T5s go, I have two ATI Atenics and two KZ Sky Blues. Now, you might ask why I picked these. Well, pretty much Wayne, my friend Wayne had, when I bought this from him, he had eight uh, bulbs that uh, he was kind of mixing back and forth with this. And I kind of figured, you know, these are kind of the best for what I want. I kind of want more of that actinic look, so I threw up the actinics on there, and you can never go wrong with the sky blue, which sky blue is pretty much, oh look, you can kind of see some little fluorescence in the light for the actinics, but you can never really go wrong with, you know, sky blue, it's pretty much KZ's equivalent to the ATI Blue Plus. So let's get into this PAR reading. So I took the Apogee, and I connected it to my old algae scraper that I'm not going to use. And then I hooked it up to the computer. And the computer has um, this Apogee Instruments. You can download this software and it gives you readings based off of the light. So let's see. You can see that I'll move it closer to the window. And it's increased. The micromoles or par. I'm going to be counting this all as par. So let's get started on this and see if my little helper yeah, he's going to be complete and utter destruction in this room. So we'll see how my little helper does with helping me measure out everything and writing everything down. You ready, Daniel? He's mesmerized. It's like a little babysitter. Dude, stop biting that. I know you're teething. That's not good for your teeth. By the way, this app is called Apogee Connect, and you can get it for iOS or um, Android software or Windows software. This is the PAR reading that I got for the T5 fixture with the two KZ Super Blue uh, and two ATI Actinics. And you can kind of see I was expecting about a hundred PAR at the top of uh, you know the Walt Disney, but I got about 75 PAR. So not too bad, a little bit lower than I thought, but I did raise it up from the 8 inch recommended to the 10 inches. So you can kind of see in the corners, I'm getting about 30 par, and down near the center of the tank uh, by the Duncan, I'm getting about 67, and the um, Octus Fun, I'm getting about 52. So overall, I did a pretty good job 
you know, using the PAR data I had available to kind of guess where the PAR ranges would be for this. A little bit on the lower side, but it still works. So the next clip are my three XR15 G5 Blues at 60% intensity rain A, B+. Plus. And I think I did a better job at guessing what this is. Uh, so I, had, I was guessing I was getting probably around 170-ish, 175 by the Walt Disney, and I got 154. That's pretty much spot on of where I wanted it for just the Radions. You can kind of see it's getting a lot more um, par across the tank with the Radions alone as opposed to the T5s. I mean, down by the sand bed, you can kind of see 62 on the far left and 70 on the far right where the Zoas are, and 125 where the Scully is. Now, there is a lot of light reflecting back in from um, the tank. So that's, if you ever watch any of the BRS videos, you can really see that the light kind of reflects back in and really hits, you know, all those corals that are kind of by the, by the edges of the tank um, that are really butted up against the glass. So you're going to get a little bit more par that way. So last but not least, this is the T5 Radeon Combo. This is where all my Radeons are on at, you know, running AB+, and my T5s are on, and I'm running 60% intensity for the Radeons. And you can see I was shooting for 250 for the Walt Disney, and I got 233. That is perfect. I am loving it. You can always, you know, go a little low and then work your way up. I didn't want to overlight the tank. You can see on the yellow tip, the Worldwide Coral Show tip, on the left is 157. You know, the Stylo is 230, and the Garf Bonsai is 202. I'm pretty happy. I actually don't want a full blanket of light that's the same par throughout the tank because I have a mixed reef. So I need to be able to have different zones for the different corals. And that's exactly what I did. So I think I did a pretty good job as far as being able to figure out exactly what I want out of this tank and where I wanted uh, the par to be at. And I probably need to do something about the father because they are getting pounded by like 175 par. Um, probably going to move those around maybe or move them a little bit farther away from the glass if I can because they're getting, they're getting way more par than what they need to be. They probably need to be in the 100 uh, par range and they're definitely not. So I was able to use BRS's par range to accurately like figure out where I wanted my um, corals to be and the par in my tank and I was within you know 20 par I was within like 10 percent 15 percent maybe 20 percent at most and well except for the Fabia because I should have remembered that the light refracts back in but I mean everything was exactly where I wanted it so based off those par readings I was able to use BRS's you know par numbers when I looked at their you know, testing, and I was able to make a pretty good guess at what my par was gonna be in this tank. Now, I'm only at 60% accuracy, so I have a lot more room left on the table to kind of bump up my intensity in order, oh my God, look at this child. He is scraping that and the glass sounds horrible. <laughs> Good thing that's a 20 gallon long and I shut that tank down. I might be starting that tank back up. But yeah, this is called uh, parenting, I guess. Letting the child get distracted and mess with everything in the room. So I'm really happy. I might add an LED strip light at the very back just to hit more part just on the SPS. Because the one thing with my um, solution is that my light is really diffuse and it kind of hits everything. You can kind of see on the combo light um, there's a lot of par that hits the sand bed, which you don't want um, for some of these corals. So my Fabia are actually sitting at 171 par right now. And my wife's going to photobomb my son in the picture. Yes. All right. That's Spencer. He said hi. He did a flyby. And my other son just decided to rip off the magnet on the little 20 on fish tank. This has turned into a disaster of a filming session. I'll probably just end it here, guys. So if you like what you see here and you want to see more, click the subscribe button. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. I thought it really helped. It might help out a lot of people in the future because, you know, you can really use that PAR testing from BRS and get very close to what your ideal testing levels are going to be. And it's backed up by that Apogee. Um, 420 and it is just I love it I'll be using that on my friend Wayne and Mike's tank in the future because I know Mike wants to use it 
So guys, I will see you next time. And this is what I've been yeah, doing with the whole time. Boop! Floppy head. Yeah. <laughs>